Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome here if you're new. So my name is Amanda and on my channel I do all things Christian womanhood and Christian motherhood. I would love to have you subscribe to this channel and join what I like to call our kingdom crew. When you subscribe, a little church bell will pop up and if you tap that, YouTube will notify you every time I post a new video on the channel. So today I'm super excited that you guys are joining me because I'm talking about thankfulness and gratitude and how to be thankful in all seasons. I'm gonna give you a couple of Bible verses about being thankful and share with you some personal things about what the Lord is teaching me regarding gratefulness, gratitude, and thankfulness. I'm also really excited because today is a collaboration video with the sweet Catherine here on YouTube. Her channel name is Catherine in Christ. She does all things Christian woman, Christian living, and motherhood, as well as cleaning motivation and just all the things. She has a sweet family, and you're definitely going to want to check her out if you like this kind of video. She does devotionals also. Her link is in the description box below. And while we're talking about the description box, there's some fun things down there. We have been working diligently on revamping our Staying Kingdom Minded website, and I would love it if you would head over and check it out. I'm trying to make it pretty. Who doesn't like pretty, right? And very user friendly. So check out the website. There's also a link to my Etsy shop where I've developed and designed some really cool t-shirts, coffee cups, and just all the things over there. So head over girls. After this video, check out Catherine, the Etsy shop, and the website. That ought to keep you busy. And if you're bored, I'm going to throw some playlists down so you can get some more Christian mom, Christian woman motivation. Today we're going to talk about thankfulness. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to share with you Psalm 106, more specifically Psalm 106 and 1, and we're going to talk. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab a drink, sit back and relax. That's what I'm going to do. I've got some notes. I'm going to glance down. But let's get started in talking about gratefulness. Oh my goodness. When everything in the world is Falling apart, 2020 is mass chaos at every corner and spirits and just the reality of life right now can really weigh you down. Depression and anxiety, feelings of being alone, feelings of being no good, feelings of just brokenness and destitute at every corner. But today we're not going to focus on that because I have a tip for you. One way to be thankful in all seasons is to think about the things you're thankful for. Now, I know that sounds cliche. Don't click out of the video. Here's the thing. I recently had a great friend on Instagram shoot me a message and she said, Amanda, I need for you to pray for me. I feel so down right now. And I challenged her with this. I sent her a message back, a video message, and I said, girl, I need you to do this right now. I need you to get out a pen and paper. And how about you right there? you sis on the other side of the screen pause the video go ahead pause it get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or a crown or a colored pencil something that you can write with go ahead I'll wait for you okay you're back good all right so write down three things you're thankful for I'm not trying to be cheesy I'm gonna help you today today God and Amanda we're gonna help you write down three things go ahead those three things I want you to look at this is what I said to her I said, look at those things. Now I want you to stop for a moment and I want you to begin to pray and to thank God for those three things. Okay, I'm gonna do this exercise with you. I am thankful for my husband. I am thankful for staying Kingdom Minded YouTube channel and I am thankful for a desire to love God. Let's start with those three. This is how the exercise works. Okay, I start thanking God. God, I thank you for my husband. God, I thank you so much for giving him to me. Lord, I thank you for this Staying Kingdom Minded YouTube channel and these subscribers who pour their time into this online ministry. God, because if it wasn't for them, there would be no SKM YouTube channel. Lord, I'm so thankful for a desire and a passion to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Okay, then the next part of the exercise, sis, is this. Then you start thinking about what would you do if you didn't have those things in your life? Start thinking about it. Oh Lord, I would be lost without my husband. He's the glue that holds our family together. He's what gives us our stability. He's the hard working man of God that you've blessed me with. Lord, I'd be lost without him. 
Then I start thinking about the next one, the Staying Kingdom Minded YouTube channel and ministry. God, without these sweet, amazing women, Jesus, and their passion and hunger to know you, God, where would I be? What would I be doing with my time? God, I don't want to know what life is like without this ministry because you have given it to me. And then I think about the desire and the passion I have for the Lord that I'm thankful for. And what if I didn't have it? Ask yourself that about your items on your list. What if I didn't have a desire and a passion? Lord, my soul would be lost without you. My heart cries out to never know a day in my life. Because sis, I've known a day in my life before where I didn't have a passion. I did not have a desire to know him and to seek him. Do you see how these exercises can help to change your perception? Do you see how God will take what was once a funk, a deep down depressive state, an anxious driven state? Do you see how God can take it, sis? And he can flip it around because he says to take every thought into captivity. That's what I want you to do today. And so that's what I instructed her to do. And the next thing you know, she finds herself in a different headspace, a different frame of mind, one of gratefulness, one of gratitude, one of thankfulness. And that brings me to the scriptures that I want to share with you today. Psalm 106 and 1 says, write this down on your paper. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. We could do a whole video just on that scripture. Psalm 9 and 1. I will give thanks to you, Lord. With all my heart, I will tell of your wonderful deeds. Isn't it just like the enemy to beat you up while you're already down? Maybe you had a bill recently that was disconnected and you can't figure out how to come up with the money to pay it. Or maybe it's due today or tomorrow. Maybe you are struggling in an area and the enemy is just really hammering down in your mind. But if you will remember Psalm 9 and 1 and you will say, with all my heart, I will tell of your wonderful deeds. And right now brings me to what I want you to do in the comment section of this video. I want you to comment the word wonderful because Jesus is wonderful. No matter what trials or tests, hills or valleys that you face in your life today, comment the word wonderful because we know that circumstances are difficult, but God is wonderful and his deeds are wonderful. Psalm 69 and 30 says, says, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. And that brings me to my next thought, keeping a gratitude journal, writing down in a prayer journal or a Bibling journal, writing down the things that you are thankful for, just like the exercise that I had for you to do with me today in this video. This will change your perception, which will change your mind, which will change your thought pattern, which will change your entire day and the atmosphere, not only in your mind, sis, but in your home, in your workplace, in your Bible study, in your church, in your family, in your parenting, in your marriage, changing your perception to one of gratitude and thankfulness will shake up what the enemy is attempting to do in your life. I've created a free printable. It's in the description box below. Check it out. It has that gratitude exercise and some really cool things for you to think about when trying to remember. Sometimes in the heat of the battle, sis, we don't remember what we are even thankful for because he has just beat us down to that point. But the devil is a liar. You are blessed. You have many things to be thankful for just like I do. And I will end the video by sharing one thing that I am truly, truly, eternally grateful for. And that is you. That is the you who's made it to the end of this video. That is the you that took the time to click on it. That is the you who has subscribed to the channel. That is the you that's checked out the Etsy shop because those things matter. Those are the things that I am attempting to do to give back and to help pour into my family. Those things matter. You matter. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have a Staying Kingdom Minded YouTube channel. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have a Staying Kingdom Minded Instagram account that I upload to my stories every 
every day and try to encourage you in everything I do. I'm thankful for you, sis. I'm thankful for you, brother in Christ, who's supported and subscribed and who comments and who likes the videos that I make on this channel. I don't know what my life would be like without this online ministry and I love you and I'm thankful for you and I'm thankful for 5,000 subscribers and I know we can hit 10 I just don't know when but God does and I believe it and I claim it in advance in Jesus name that we'll hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel feel free to share this video help another sister in Christ who's struggling or maybe who just needs to shift her perception to that of thankfulness I thank you so much, Catherine, for doing this video with me. I can't wait to look at your video, to listen to what God has laid on your heart. I'm truly grateful for you, Catherine. I'm grateful, so grateful. At the end of this clip, I'm just going to share with you a couple of different Bible journaling, gratitude journaling ideas so that you can get something started in your own life if you haven't already started one. So let me share with you my gratitude journaling ideas and tips. We'll close out this video. Don't forget to give it a big like. All right, let's jump into some gratitude journaling. Okay, ladies, here's just a couple of gratitude ideas for you. These will both be found in the description box below. They are free printables. The first one with the um, bunch of text that you see me showing you here is the exercise that we did together on the video. So go ahead and print that out, and I encourage you to make a couple of copies on it. When you find yourself being sad, when you find yourself just really being fought by the enemy, your headspace isn't good, you're thinking on things that are bringing you down, I encourage you to pull one of these out and write down three things you're thankful for. Allow the Lord to shift your perception of your reality. Allow God to bring your heart and your mind and your soul into a place of true thankfulness. The second printable is literally just one that says thankful and I just encourage you to randomly start writing out with colored pens or pencils, whatever you like to do if you're crafty, if that's your thing. Just begin to write out the things that you're thankful for and you will be amazed at seriously the way that your brain just begins to think different thankful happy thoughts when you start truly thinking about all the many blessings that God has given you. So you'll find both of these free printables in the description box below. I encourage you to get out some crafting supplies, some stickers, whatever, just make it cute and make it something that you enjoy doing and meditate on the Lord while you're doing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go over and check out Catherine in Christ. Her link is below and stay kingdom minded in everything you do. And I will see you in the next one.